So this is basically it right here. This is the basically a wooden cot. Uh, me and my dad built it. Uh, mostly him. I mostly just watched. I got, it's all shiny because I got some polyurethane on it and I probably didn't do the best job but I'm mostly just trying to make it last, you know, being inside the Jeep it's going to definitely build up some mildew and stuff so I wanted to try to prevent that as much as possible. My idea was just basically just slap some slabs of wood in here and make it all work and my dad wanted to build something a little bit more structural and functional so I think at the end of the day it really worked out. Got a lot of cool accessories here so let me just show you what we got. First off, this is really cool. He wanted to put a compartment right here. That way, if I ever need to access something under here and it was hard to get to, I don't have to just like reach under here and grab it. I can actually just open this up right here, get underneath here and reach around back here and have easy access to get anything I need to get. So that was helpful. Same thing applies for this back section. It has a flap right here. And the biggest reason we built this is because I want to store this water jug right under the platform and we were trying to find a way to make it fit. My dad had to come up with the idea of putting the hinge here. We would have like lifted the whole cot all the time. So what we ended up doing was building this hinge system. So when I need to slide this right underneath, it just goes like this. So overall, I think it just turned out great. You got these like hinges right here and stuff. It's sturdy, it's a lot better than the cot was for sure. And the way he designed it, he got the inspiration off of just like basic structural systems where you use triangles to make it hold up better than just regular pegs like what I was gonna do. And then I have all this space to store stuff. So I think it's gonna work out way better than what I was doing before with like the cot and everything. And then I already cut the mattress pad to fit in here much better. It's definitely not as comfortable, but I think long term it's gonna be much better for what I'm doing. And also I'm going to end up um, getting like this pad thing for it or this like mattress cover so it won't absorb all this like moisture and stuff and stink and different things. I didn't even know they made those. My dad told me I should probably get one of those. I also found out that if I organize things well enough, I can just sit back here and use this as like a desk for a computer or whatever and get my work done. So that'll be cool. If it works, we'll see. Well, I got the Jeep to start. It didn't seem to have a problem when I went back out, so I really can't tell you what it could, what, it could have even been the battery, for all I know. I think there might be an issue with the fuel pump, even though I just replaced it like two years ago. Um, I have no idea, honestly, but hopefully it's nothing I can't handle. I just saw a helicopter fly by, and I'm watching it, and I was like, oh, shoot. If my drone was up there, I totally would have hit it. And then I'd go to jail. I've got all my junk in the garage over here. And all I have to do is figure out how to fit all that in here in a nice organized manner. And then I'll get us one step closer to being able to start this trip. We'll see how this goes. If that seemed if that seemed really long and counterproductive it's probably because it was I got everything out to put back in the Jeep and I was about to start you know organizing it to see how everything fit you know that kind of stuff and as soon as I did that I immediately started getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and after yesterday I just did not feel like dealing with that my leg already looks like I have chicken pox it's just one of the very many things I hate about being here and 
I swear the neighbor somewhere there's like an infestation because the, you will just see them swarming around me and they're not like the little brown ones they're like the black evil looking ones with the white specks and it's just so we'll finish it tomorrow I'm gonna go get a brownie